boy, Big Rob, aka Rob did it. Got my boy, Big Heart, Heart Lady's health. You didn't know, we got the Omega Supreme War Juice. Oh, you know what I'm saying? And man, this shit right here, you want some energy in the gym? This shit get you going, make you go to war with the weights. No go juice. Yeah. When it's war time, war juice. What's going on? It's in the gym with Team Massive Jones. Training some arms, baby. At CT Fletcher's Original Iron Addicts Gym in Signal Hill, California, United States of America. Training some arms with my brother in iron, Steve Mills. Hello. Also known as Neve. Training with the whole crew, Neve. Us. The awesome foursome and fivesome at some Training stage. with the original Iron Addicts crew, training some arms with Big Rob, a.k.a. Rob did it. My brother Herc, a.k.a. Hercules Healthy. No. And my other brother, Nick Bernardini. In the house. No. Yeah. You can go follow these guys, man. We're going to pop a, lot, a bunch of links in the description box to their Instagrams and YouTubes, man. This was one hell of a workout in Evosh, starting with one hell of a tour of this here original Iron Addicts gym, man. Well, with a lot of uh, a lot of the different gyms throughout LA that you train, you and I have trained at. Yeah. Um, being like Metroflex LBC, yeah. Kratos Gym. Yeah. Is they all follow the same kind of... Uh, this artwork on the wall, the graffiti on the wall. And you, you check it out, man. We get some zoom and focus action on some of it. But it's, 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 it creates an amazing atmosphere, doesn't it? Does. It does. Most gyms you go in, especially commercial gyms, and they're like one block color with like windows everywhere. CT was like, F the commercial gyms. I'm going with graffiti up in his bitch. They did. I'm going to select a couple of mirrors and put them where they're most needed, a.k.a. you're right next to the dumbbell rack. Yeah. And if you don't like it, and get the f out. It's just a <laughs> cement floors, iron weights. Yeah. Old Yo, punk equipment. ass. Yeah. The Superman from Compton. I was just impressed. I was so impressed by the graffiti. I just wanted to just not train and just look at the graffiti. I know. It was like walking into a, a, a an iron art museum. Well, it was really. To be honest, it was. <laughs> so have you told the people what we're training yet? Arms. A bit of buyers. A bit of tries. Yeah. Many buyers. I want some big ass arms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and look at the, 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 the other cool thing about this as well. It's a, it's a new gym. It's only been open what, the, at the time we were there. It only been open a few months. Yeah, not very long at all. And the, the uh, range of equipment from like old school, you know, real basic equipment right up to the new school equipment, right up to the different uh, positions of flexion style equipment. It was extensive, man. Well, they had a lot of the machines that you and I like as well. Yeah. Not just Stri the. Uh, I love those Strive yeah, machines. Yeah, a few Strive machines. Oh, I love me some Strive, man. And also, as you can see, yeah. right here. Isolateral leg press. Rack your shit or get the f out. So, I love it. C it's just like CT Fletcher's there the whole time. CT just walked around like, yep, I wanted to say this here. <laughs> Paste this saying on this part of wall, please, bitch. <laughs> and as you can see, I don't know if you can still see him, the, the fella in the blue singlet. It's actually CT's nephew. This guy on the wall right here. No, that's, that's the that's whole. The, that's the original Iron Addict, I think. Mm -hmm. That's the whole. Anyway, started this workout off. Big Raw about to get busy with these here standing alternating dumbbell curls, man. We did. So we, oh, that's Big Nevos getting the zoom and focus. Yeah, look at that. So yeah, so we, uh, well, we were originally going to train chest, weren't we? We were. But Rob had hurt his arm, um, had his shoulder benching. Yeah. Like 565 or some shit, I can't remember, he told me, and then, yeah. then he corrected me, but I, I still reckon 565 sounds better. Well, we all rolled up ready to train chess. Rob was like, we're training. I'm like, cool, man, I'm ready to train some chess. He was like, F chess, man, my shoulder is f We're going to build some big-ass arms. Yeah. And if you have... Sorry, and, I'm training arms. And if you have a look at Herc's arms as well, Herc has got the f 
biggest pop, one of some of the biggest pops I've ever seen. Herc and Rob, and you'll see some comparison shots because we do an exercise later on in this video where we're all standing next to each other. And you and I have got some decent size arms on us. Wow. And these two guys make us look like we don't even lift. That's the problem with you and I going to America, <laughs> is we don't look like we lift. That's it. Get you some easy money. Easy. Kiss him at the end. Just kiss him. Tastes so sweet. I probably could have just sat there and watched Rob and her train. And that we're, we're splicing some original audio all throughout this voiceover viewers at home, so you guys can uh, can get a feel for how much fun this workout was. But we effectively we just we just did standing alternating curls and just kept going up in weight. Yeah. And I don't even know how many reps. Rob wasn't counting reps; he was counting kisses to them bitches. He was. <laughs> As soon as he couldn't give him kisses anymore, he f***ing threw the weights down. And then went up for the next set. So it was good. It was epic. What a way to start an arm workout. I reckon we did In fact, from now on, every bicep workout, I'm starting to do like this. Just blowing kisses to the bitches. <laughs> blowing kisses to the bitches. Yeah, but the people knowing you, they will think you're just blowing kisses to yourself in the mirror. And I, I think this, this, was, this, I, I, this has got to be the last set, because if I'm not mistaken, those are 90 pound dumbbells, right? They're 45 or 40. 42, 40 kilos. 42 kilos, whatever the f they Dumbbells. Are. And Rob throwing them up like they're not even there. Are they hundreds? No, no they're, they're, they're 90s. 90s. I think we get some zoom and focus action. There it is, the 90s. And of course, me being who I am, can't let Rob get one up on me. So I thought I had to give him a shot as well. Right here. Yep, there we go. Yep. Work. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, yeah. Work. Come on. Work. Easy. Oh. Work. Come on. Of one you did yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That, that was just me throwing it to start with. Oh shit. The viewers at home who, who are in tune with the Massive Joe's YouTube channel and in particular in the gyms would know that we are usually form Nazis. Yeah. But when you step into CT's original Iron Addicts gym and you train at arms with Herc and Big Rob, both who have arms measuring over 22, you throw in them right <laughs> up. Look at you don't give a f Look at my little f spaghetti arms. Oh. Like Shit. And I, I was going to, well, we couldn't say it because there was a voiceover before, but you in front of Big Rob. Yeah. When you're you're sitting at 6'2", 230 pounds. Yeah. And Big Rob makes you look like a small girl. Well, because R Big Rob is tall as well. <laughs> and he's f***ing thick as like shit. He's, you know how in this industry people call themselves big and they ain't really that big? Yeah. Like they're five foot six. They're heavy, yeah. but they're tiny. Yeah. Rob is a monster. He is. Rob is like six foot five, <laughs> 300 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> so then we moved on to some triceps and we just did tricep push downs. We went higher in reps here. So we were trying to get anywhere between 20 and 30 reps and just kept increasing weight until we couldn't get 20 reps minimum. Yeah. And if we could get 20, we try to push for 30. Yeah. We didn't give a f this workout. This was the no f given workout. It was. Honestly. Herc doesn't give a f 
Yeah. Look at the size of his and it's, it's actually interesting because you guys will see throughout this workout as well. As I mentioned, we generally are form Nazis. Herc and Rob have horrible form. Yeah. There's no no two ways about it. But it just shows you that form is not everything. Yeah. Because these guys have built some of the biggest arms I've ever seen. Yeah. With crap form. Yeah. So sometimes form is just not what it's all about. Sometimes you just have to get into the weight and curl. The thing was, is you and I have not been this sore after workout as we were from this workout. Well, that's the other in thing a long as well. Time. Because usually we wouldn't put this much force through our biceps and triceps. Yeah. We wouldn't put this much volume with this much force. It was just a completely different workout. Usually we wouldn't dare lift this heavy because we're too focused on form. Yeah. So I even learned something from this as well. Yeah. I took from this every now and again, form, get into the weight and get into the gym and lift that heavy ass weight like bags of feathers. Well, even training with Mark and Doug, you see that as well. Yeah. You guys are, you, man, 100%. Boom. Look at that. Look at them reps. That's clean. That's so clean. we got the dumbbell curl fucking train about to go down right now. So we'll, it's five of us motherfuckers. Five of us. So we all got a station. One, two, three, four, five. So it's five motherfucking different dumbbells out there. You got the two, 225, 30, 35, 45, 50. 10 reps each one going down the line. Once you put them down, just grab the next part of the shit and keep pushing. Here we go. Let's get it. I start off with the 50s. Y'all ready? <laughs> yep. This is hard at it, still calls for it. Get started. <laughs> So what we're doing here is we've got we've got weights they start and this is pounds. So 25, 35, 40, 45, and 50 pounds, right, E boss? So going from like 10 kilos up to what's that, 22 and a half to 25 yeah, kilos. Yeah, say so like 12 and a half up to 25 in incrementals. And there's five of us. So what we're doing is you just pick a station to start at and then you move through your station. Ten reps at each station. So it doesn't matter if you go up or down. Because the person who starts at 50 is obviously going to go down and then back up. Yeah. It doesn't matter. But you just move from station to station and you're trying to get 10 reps at each of those stations. Yeah. In a row successively. So 50 total reps yeah. per dumbbell train set. The, the thing is, we were trying to work out where is the easiest place to start and finish? We did. We, we, try, we tried to outsmart the, uh, the exercise. But and it ended... Not very well. No matter what you do, if you start on the real heavy ones first and do the lightest ones last, you're, f you're f If you start on the lightest ones first and you end up on the heaviest ones, as I did in this particular route, yeah. you're even more f So we did this twice each. So either way, you're f And by this stage, so you hear me on, oh, I don't know if you've seen me, on the heaviest one, yeah. the form is not good. No, I should not be using You're doing hammer kills. Well, I couldn't even f I couldn't even turn my wrist. But even once again, as I mentioned, you have a look at the form. I'm standing right next to Rob now. And you have a look at the difference in form. This is probably not good right here because I'm swinging, I'm failing. But at the start of the next one, you see my form is much more textbook than Rob's. Yeah. But Rob has an extra five inches on his arms than I do. Yeah. So, <laughs> read into that as you may, you know what I'm saying? I think after a while, if you're throwing around this much weight for that, amount, for that many years, yeah. your arms have got to grow. Well, it's exactly right. It comes down to just work, mm. doesn't it? What's Rob doing? Big Rob feeling the heat. I honestly think this is the closest big Rob has got to doing cardio in the last couple of years, you know what I'm saying? Rob doesn't do it normally over six reps. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't a, uh, a, a cool day no. in Signal Hill, California, in Los Angeles, California. That's a, there was a severe lack of air con in the gym as well. There was a severe um, amount of sweat going on between the fellas as well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that was, that, that's a great way to hit some biceps if you've got a bunch of people all training together. 
And then next up, we did just uh, the hanging uh, preacher curls. Well, no, this is, I'd, I'd go so far as to call this a barbell spider curl, oh, to be I honest. Your arms are f***ing pointing right down to the floor there, man. No, nah, it's not spidering, though. Yeah, it is definitely a spider curl. You're just standing instead of using the bench. Anyway, call it what you may. Fantastic isolation movement for biceps. Yes. Yeah. Because this one completely takes out all, all shoulder, pretty much. Well, not completely. Well, for me, if, it does. If you swing on it, you can still bring deltoids in, but it does keep your arm in, a, in a, a quite a good position to isolate the biceps and hit the least amount of... Uh, yeah, but of, you and I, when we are big... Delts front, possible. When you and I are big front deltoid yeah. men... Yeah. You're swinging a fair bit here, though. Yeah, but the elbows are fixed in position. I think Big, Yu I think big Yuli's in your ear here. Mate, there is some... Serious weight on there, thank you very much. Look at the hair. What's going on with the hair? <laughs> it was hot. <laughs> I was sweating. <laughs> and if you guys think I'm moving a fair bit of weight on there, man, wait until you see uh, what, what pops up right here as well. Damn. They, if you see them from front on, they are thicker than most people's biceps side on. That is just phenomenal. That is legit phenomenal. Big Rob about to get busy as well now. And if you thought the last set was heavy, what's that? Is that 235? Let's go Big Rob. You gotta prepare yourself mentally for some shit like this. Get in the zone, baby. <sighs> yep. Yep. Come on. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah, man. Come on, rip that shit. Come on. Rip it. Come on. Damn, well, that wasn't easy right there. <laughs> Shit. Hi. Hi. Come on, hook. Shut up. Yeah. Shut up. Shit. Ah. The Bay Area back there. I don't think we've ever been that quiet in a voiceover before. I was in awe. <laughs> oh shit. The funny thing is There was 80 kilos on that barbell just then. The funny thing is this is like the fifth time People can't watched. bench press that shit. This is the fifth time we watch this video and it's still funny every time we watch it. Some motherfuckers can't squat that amount, Nevosh. <laughs> That's big hurt. Just shit. Just 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 swinging it. Then Breaking down an acapella. And then we finished off with some triceps, but you guys honestly don't give a f about that, let's be honest. <laughs> so you might as well go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, man. Start to date with all the latest editions of In the Gym with Team Massive Joe's and all the other deliciousness in our YouTube channel. Where are we coming to and from, Neve? Massivejoes.com. Stay massive.